Hi guys, I'm Alicia with Peach and Lily. So today we're gonna talk about the best anti-aging product in the world. It's very common, it's already out there. It's sunblock. So the sun is one of the biggest factors that causes premature aging, leading to fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots, and even much more serious issues like skin cancer. So here are the three things to look for when you're looking for that perfect SPF. So number one, Definitely look for broad spectrum coverage. This means you're gonna get coverage both from UVA and UVB rays. Asian sunscreens are great because they actually have a PA label, which indicates the level of coverage you're gonna get from the UVA rays, which are the rays that will cause wrinkles and cause premature aging. So next to the PA, there's a sign that says plus or plus plus or plus plus plus. That indicates how much UVA coverage you're getting Number two, we highly recommend using an SPF of over 30. Many dermatologists recommend at least SPF 30 for daily wear. I love this Lagom Sun Gel, which is SPF 50, because it doesn't feel heavy at all. And I'll also show you how much to apply. You should really be applying sort of like, it's a lot, it looks like a lot, but that is what's recommended for your whole face. You can think of it as like a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half, so you can see there's no white cast at all. It soaks right in, it's super light on. It's one of our best sellers for those reasons and makeup wears really well over it as well. So number three, I think it's also great to find SPFs that actually have antioxidants in the formula. So the Lagom Sun Gel has antioxidants in here. And the reason that's important is because the sun causes free radical damage in your skin and antioxidants are really going into your skin and busting those up and helping prevent that damage from happening. But if you wanted to go a step further, also great to pair it with a serum or an essence that has a lot of antioxidants. So favorite around here is the Ariel Berry Vital Daily Defense Serum. I love the name, Daily Defense. So this is really packed with antioxidants. It's very lightweight, and it's really gonna help protect against sun damage, but also all sorts of damage caused by pollutants, the stress in your life. You know, a lot of that causes free radical damage, so antioxidants are great for helping protect skin from all of those things. The other question we get a lot is what is the difference between a chemical and physical sunscreen? So you can think of a chemical sunscreen as more like a sponge. It really absorbs those UV rays to help protect your skin against the UV rays. Whereas a physical sunscreen is like putting blinds up on a window. It just blocks it physically. So when it comes down to which is better, honestly, there's pros and cons of each. At the end of the day, it comes down to which one are you actually gonna wear? Because not wearing SPF is probably much more damaging. Pick a sunscreen that you're gonna wear every day, um, and that's probably the best device that we have when it comes to sunscreens. And don't forget guys, reapplication is pretty important, especially if you're out in the sun all day. So make sure you're carrying your SPF with you and applying you know, every couple hours if you're on the beach, for example. I really like Cushion Compacts because obviously they give you that dewy finish, but also it just makes reapplication really easy if you're worried about you know, your makeup rubbing off and so forth and you just dab, dab, dab. And you know, for daily wear in the city, I reapply through my Cushion Compact. If you guys have any other questions about SPS, definitely leave a comment below and we will be sure to get back to you and make sure you're safe in the sun. Cheers to Radiance!